I have another DIY. Um, I need to make a broom, like a little witch's broom. I have this stick. <laughs> um, it's 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 pretty long. It's probably gonna be a little bit shorter because this is probably where like the broom is gonna start, like the brush bristles part. And so like this much of it will be like left. I have this dance thing coming up, and we're dance. They're dressing up as witches. It's for Halloween. Um, I'm gonna be a red witch, so I have some different bristle things that I'm going to use. I have those that are like darker. I have these, and then I have these really cool like little bits here, and I'm gonna like combine the two, and then I'm gonna add in the red orange ones to like the different bundles. I'm gonna tie them around. We're gonna see what happens. I wanna add something like to the top part. Um, like I have some foam clay, I might do like a little like moon type thing. Um, and, but we'll see how that goes. Um, that's just the top part. So ideally this is something that I can use for this dance and then hang up in my room. I have a spot where I'd want it if it looks as good as I'm hoping it will. Um, also I'm sick, so. This is the voice that you're gonna have. I apologize in advance. Um, so I'm gonna start working on the, the bristle bundle thing. I already feel like mistakes was made. My cat is currently trying to eat everything. Um, but we're gonna try to, the biggest mess that you could ever imagine is being made right now. Like, in the end, will it be worth it? Maybe, but I feel like Oh, my cat's just having so much fun. He doesn't go outside. He's a little indoor baby, and this is the closest to grass he's ever gotten. So he is just now delighted. I think this is a pretty cool little mixture going on. I still feel like it's not as thoroughly mixed as I would like, though. I'm trying to, like, really join everything together so we have, like, this cool little, like, dark and light moment. Um, and then the fun part, I'm going to, like, take some, put one of the little, um, red puffs in it, um, there's just a mess everywhere. So just trying to become a witch is familiar, um, this is what we got right now, it looks very Halloween-y, now I need to figure out how to get this clump onto that stick, um, yeah. Many trial and error, we have her, this looks rough, I have some twine, I'm going to wrap it around, but she is there. This is actually really cute. It's giving very much Halloween. After having to do multiple different things to figure it out, um, this is what we have so far. It feels very Halloween-y, it's very wide. I think it's kind of off balance a little bit. I have something I'm gonna add to the top to make it a little bit more balanced so it's not dipping down and I'm not like feeling like it's too heavy as I'm dancing because I this is my dance prop. That's that's what I'm doing now. This is this is it. I didn't show me like doing this. This is foam clay. Um and this is gonna be a moon. We'll see how that looks. And this is the stone that I'm gonna like put into it and make it all together. Also I have to cover this bottom part because my cat's trying to eat it. Um but I didn't really show what I was doing with it. I think I will show me like painting it and stuff and like putting it together because this actually has to dry. So we're gonna let the foam clay dry before we finish building the top part. So I changed my mind. I wrapped the top with the twine. I'm going to paint the glue black to give it like a wax drippy seal type thing. Um, I'm currently working on the other part of the handle. I think it looks kind of cool. It's gonna have a nice little grippy thing. We'll see how well that all just stays together. Um, I'm currently pa painting the top part. It's gonna be like a moon or it's gonna try to be. Um, and it's going to be like black and fade into like a red ombre moment. Um, and I'll have a little stone. So we'll see how this actually looks. So the best part of a DIY is me telling you how I messed it up and how I had to try to save it in the end. So this is what the top ended up looking like. Um, and then here's the bottom of the broom. My cat has been trying to eat these. I don't know what to do. But I think that it looks kind of dope. You know, it's just a cute little like broom. It's something. I just need it for a dance. So, um... What I wanted to do and what I've been like really focusing on with the top part was I wanted like a moon crescent and then to have this stone in the middle. I made one out of foam clay and it looked like a banana. So I didn't use it because no, what witch has a banana on her broom? So I just did like this cool like 
stone. It looks like it's oozing black. And I think I could dance with it. It feels kind of more balanced out now. So it's not like the side's too heavy, which is nice because we have to hold it like horizontal at one point. Um, but yeah, so this is, this is said broom. This is the broom. Um, you can see in the background, I'm rewatching Dan and Phil because they uploaded to their um, gaming channel and they're coming back. So I'm like refreshing on the Sims, but that's not important right now. Um, but this is done. I'm about to hang it on my wall and like chill because it's also going to be decor. Um, and then I'm going to start working on my costume part of this because I actually have to have like witch attire and I'm going to try to make it match this a little bit more. I have like some little fall leaves that I'm going to like glue to stuff and try to make it look less cheap. So yeah, this was, this is the broom DIY and I, I think it's kind of dope. So.